Howdy. Um, okay, so this week's theme is irrational fears, which I'm overstocked in. So, rational fear number one, I'm terrified of ceiling fans. They scare the crap out of me. I just know that while I'm asleep, it's going to be going, and then it's just going to fall, and this trajectory is going to, and it's spinning, it's just going to make it, you know, slice me in half while I sleep. So I'm scared of ceiling fans. I can't have them running during the night. Um, I'm terrified of the dark. I'm still afraid of the boogeyman. If I hear something under my bed, I freak. It scares me. <laughs> um, I'm still scared of storms. Like, I can't sleep if there is a possibility of a tornado. I can't sleep if there is thunder and lightning. It's scary. Um, hold up. You guys want to see something really scary? You'll all be afraid of. I feel special now. But um, recently, actually last night, I had a dream, and one of my biggest fears is that I'm gonna be raped because I think it's like the worst crime you can commit. Like, if it came down to being like killed and raped, I don't know if it's just because I'm not in the situation, but. Especially if I'm still a virgin, because if you get raped while you're a virgin, I think that's like, death penalty. But, um, but it pretty much, uh, I was, it was my old house, and so I went to close my windows, like the blind, and these two people walked by, these little, it's a little bit of this girl, and then her brother, and he's like my age, and so, <clears throat> Um, I try to hide, but the boy sees me, and he comes back, and he tries talking to me, and so, we're kind of talking, and I'm like, <laughs> go away, because I had a really bad feeling, and so then the little girl's like, you want these, and she holds up Pokemon cards, and I'm like, and then she kind of convinces me, I mean, she's a little girl, so why not trust a little girl, and... So I get out and go out my window, and I get the Pokemon cards, and then she gives me Yu-Gi-Oh cards too, because her cousins left her alone, and so she's punishing them by giving me their stuff. Um, but, so then I'm about to go through my window, and I see the boys missing, and so I'm really scared, and I go back through my window, and I lock it, and then I run to the front door, like, trying to get there so I can lock it real fast, but he comes through sooner, and he, like, attacks me, and he talks about how girls in his old state were bad in bed, and how he wants to test me out, and it, it's really bad, like, he attacked me. And, um, I tried to kick him below the belt because that's what you go for. And, um, well, it failed. I missed. And he laughed and said that it's a good thing I didn't, he didn't use this wrestling move on me. Otherwise, I'd be, like, dead. But then he gets me on the ground and, like, he's hitting me. And I feel like I can feel it. Like, I can feel him touching me. I can feel him punching me. I can feel him hitting me. I can feel the fear, like, it was terrible. And so, this is drawn out for a very long period, like, longer than I can really describe. And, so, um, <clears throat> I'm writing a poem on this for Poetry Club. Uh, but, uh, he then, like, I then do something, I can't remember, and I knock him out pretty much for a bit. Then I run outside, and his sister and cousins are being picked up by his parents, and I tell his mom what he just did, and she just kind of rolls up the window, and then he hops in the vehicle, and they drive off, and I cry, but, um, then I call my dad, and he doesn't answer, I get his voicemail, so I tell him what happened, 
and I said, Hold on, I'm scared. It kind of flashes forward where I'm with my boyfriend and my dad and Miss Donnell, and I bring up what happened, and no one cares. And then it shows me looking in the mirror naked, just looking at all the bruises, and like I'm just crying. And because I look in the mirror when I want to find something wrong with myself, like when I don't like something, and so that kind of it shows that my dream kind of knows me because I would be looking at myself like you're terrible and uh, that, that, that's one of my greatest fears um, it may not be very like irrational but it, it, it's not fun <laughs> um, I think my biggest irrational fear is like I have a phobia of ants to the point where that movie Them when I saw that ant for the first time I freaked out because I was like, I know that thing's going to kill me. Um, I think that's about it of my fears. But, um, great fear that my Pokemon game is going to die. Shit, is that you? Na, 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 I'm happy. I'm so happy. Get in front of the camera. Oh, best game ever. I'm terrified I'm going to lose, so whenever I play, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so anyway, that's my entry for this week's thing. <laughs> Toodaloo. Never begin, we can try, brother my brother.